To become successful, you must sacrifice certain things in life. Here's what I believe you must sacrifice to actually obtain success. If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Sebastian Escueta. I am an entrepreneur. I own a digital marketing agency where I manage a business's website, social media, and run digital marketing for the clients. And in this video today, I want to try to explain as best as I possibly can how to obtain success and why success is obtained through tons of sacrifice and what you actually need to sacrifice to obtain success. I think of myself, I don't think of myself as a millionaire because I'm not. I don't think of myself as a super successful person, but I'm on the road to success. I've made tons of changes in my life and I'm here to explain those changes and why you should maybe consider implementing them if you want to achieve something in life. But before we get into it, if you have not already clicked that beautiful looking subscribe button below, you can always do that. Uh, it will help my channel grow as well as allow you to see future videos I do post, which I post every Every single day so with that being said let's get into it so success is measured on different scales for different people some people think success is financial freedom some people think success is waking up and doing everything you want in the day and being happy to wake up every day and just living a free life some people think that success is becoming a millionaire some people think that success is just again doing what you like so it's hard to gauge exactly what we're going to talk about because success is completely different for everyone, but let's just say success is achieving your goals. You set high goals this year, I'm gonna assume if you haven't, I suggest you do, um, but let's just say you set high goals for yourself this year that are obtainable, but you do need to make tons of changes to your life to actually achieve them. So we're gonna start off by explaining exactly what I've given up to become successful and somewhat successful. I'm not saying I'm some high up person, I'm again just saying I am in a very good position in my life right now and it's on the way to become greater. So one thing I had to give up was going out and partying. Now I do go out every so often on not occasion, like on every rare occasion, probably once every other month. Um, but what I did realize was in order for me to become successful throughout high school, which I'm only 18 years old, I graduated high school last year, I, when I became successful, it started when I was 16 years old, which I was still a junior in high school, I was moving into my senior year, um, and or 17 or something, but I realized that if I need to make a certain amount of money, if I'm going to achieve these goals of like, let's just say making a thousand dollars a day, or growing my YouTube channel to a certain height, or just something along those lines, that I needed more time in my life and more time on the weekends because I was again in high school so I needed the weekend time because of the weekdays were occupied from school. So I decided I needed to give up all that partying and stuff for like a, the whole summer because actually it was summer so I had every single day to do whatever I wanted. So I literally remember it. I was working every single day and understand, like I had friends hit me up all the time. Hey Sebastian, let's hang out. Hey dude, let's go out. Let's go. Oh, I heard there's a party. Oh, these girls want me to, uh, want to to come over let's go I literally rarely did that I probably had I had think I have one party at my house and that was it I was very introverted that summer and I realized like it became something to where people thought I was like depressed or something and people thought I needed to go out more and stuff like, even my parents I believe they were kind of saying like oh you needed to go out a little more and I was like no 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 I have this goal, I have this vision, and I'm going to go after it. And I did. I ended up accumulating a decent amount of money for my age. I went from having like $40 in my bank account to a few thousand dollars in probably like a few weeks, um, which was awesome. Like it was crazy to see that happen. And my life just completely changed after that. I grew my YouTube channel, started posting every single day, and live streaming almost every single day, and it just, it became pretty nuts. So that's one of the things I suggest, if you guys have not already, give up going out for a bit. You don't have to give it up for life. Like I now go out every so often because I have things structured now. But when you live a normal life and you want to transition into a completely different life, you need to make huge changes in your life. Like it's not some little thing like, oh, if, if I have to be successful, I just have to wake up an hour earlier. Like, no, you have to do things to where it looks like you're a completely different person. Like, if people looked in on your life, they'd be like, Sebastian, you're not even who you were. Like, I was a party animal, I'm not gonna lie. I went out a lot in high school. When I went into senior year, which was over that summer when I made the huge changes, I became someone completely different. It was insane. People looked at me and they were like, yeah, you're the you're the kid who worked all summer. Like, oh, that's lame. We partied all summer. Like, it was a blast, ooh, but it's like it was short-term stuff that they were doing. So I became someone completely different that people thought, like, wasn't even me anymore, which was awesome to me, personally. I enjoyed it. Number two is going to be insecurities. Now, this is something I've never talked about on this channel, but I'm going to because I had terrible insecurities, uh, like, Probably my whole life, um, I was very insecure about having, I, like I thought I had a huge head, which 
I like looking back I don't even think it's that uh, like big of a head that's like literally that was the thing I was insecure about um, now my hair is probably not looking the best but I don't really care um, but that was something I was very very insecure about like I um, I remember I would wear hats to school I would like comb my hair down like this and like try to cover my head as much as possible um, now I really don't care I literally wouldn't get into pools with people because I didn't want my head to show like literally that's how I lived my life for years and it was just it was crazy because it was building up like a huge huge insecurity in my life um, that then trying to get out of that was freaking hard like literally making a change in my head I was like okay well everyone already knows me as this person so it's gonna be hard to change into this person because of the fact that I don't want them to judge me I don't want to get laughed at and then I kind of made the switch over again that summer junior to senior year I was like okay I really have to give no like crap about anyone's opinion for the next few years if I want to obtain success. If I don't want to obtain success, I'll just do the same exact things I do and I will not be successful. Um, and then I realized like I needed to change. So I remember I went to school, I like combed my hair back and everyone saw it and like some people, it was weird, like a few people were like, oh, your hair is so different or like, but a few people giggled or something and I was that probably happened for the next week and then after that everyone was used to it I was so nervous in all the classes and stuff and it was just it was bad I mean I I wouldn't say I was depressed at that time but it was just a, such a weird feeling like in my head I was like oh god this is so weird it's not I'm not used to people looking at me like this I'm, I'm used to just fitting in and being just like everyone else which in reality is bad you don't want to be like everyone else um, normally so I it was just definitely a different change for myself like it was something that was kind of hard to deal with in the beginning and then I got used to it and moved on and now I'm like I don't really care like oh like I don't know um, it was just something I was really 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 insecure about and I got over that I just had to make the switch to like get away from all the insecurities and make sure that they're kind of um, ob like not even existent in my life even deep down if I still was a little bit insecure about it it was something where I was just owning it so it got to the point where like even if I was, I was owning it, everyone knew about it, and so, like, I just, it ended up becoming normal, and it was awesome. I'm glad I did that, just because, like, whoo, I was living so nervous. Like, literally, I would go to school and be freaked out when the wind would come, because it would, like, mess up my hair, and it would, like, show my head. Like, literally, that was something I was freaked out about. It was hilarious. Um, and, yeah, so that's... <laughs> That's one thing that I think you guys need to give up. It's freaking hard. Getting like out of your comfort zone is one of the most difficult things I've ever done. Like making money is freaking easy compared to this stuff. Like getting out of your comfort zone and doing these things that push you to the limits and get you freaked out in your own body. Like, oh my God, they, they made me, f uh, like I was terrified some days um, just because literally for an insecurity that was all in my head, like it literally meant nothing. Uh, in reality, but still, yeah, that was something that I had to get out of my life because it was holding me back immensely. Number three is going to be not spending money that you have. So a lot of people spend all the money they have. They get paycheck, they spend a paycheck. They live paycheck to paycheck like for the rest of their life. So many Americans live paycheck to paycheck. It's just something that's became kind of normal. Like you spend all the money because you are looking forward to the next check. As an entrepreneur, you do not know how much money you're gonna make next month. You may have an estimate, but who knows? Your business can collapse in literally a day and you can be out of money. Like you can have no cash flow for the next month or a few months. So if you wanna become successful as an entrepreneur, you need to be a freaking king at saving money. Like I know I bought a BMW M3. I've bought some nice things in the past. They're stupid buys. Like, but I bought the M3 cash. I shouldn't have bought the car in general just because I wasn't in, I mean, I was in a position to afford it. It wasn't a big deal, but like still, it was money I could have just used to set aside for investments or um, start trading stocks with or something like this. The money I invested in that car could have made me thousands of dollars over the past few years or over the past year. So I think it was a bad investment. But on the flip side, like you just need to be able to save the money. So if you make $500 in a day, do not go out and spend it. I had a hard time doing that. I remember I saw like a girl I, I used to talk to pretty intensely. Um, I saw her at a Tilly's. She worked at a Tilly's and I went in there and I was like going to try and be all cool and spend like $400 on shoes and I was like, yeah, I want those ones, I want those ones. And then my card got declined because I spent too much that day because I had already bought a ton of school stuff for senior year. This was again right after the summer, so I had money. Um, so I was like, yeah, let's buy these, let's, oh, da, da, da. like I thought I was sweet and cool and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna impress this girl and then my card got declined and I was like, okay, 
this is like a, I need to make sure I don't spend this money just because it's money I've earned, very worked very hard for, kind of. I mean, I didn't really work that hard for that money, not gonna lie, I just was very focused with what I did. It was with influencer marketing, with drop shipping, um, but I, I tried to like impress others with my spending and it was, like I realized it literally meant nothing to other people. If anything, they think you're an arrogant douchebag, which normally doesn't really like, portray a good image to girls, whether you want to impress girls or guys, whether you want them to think you're dope, like some cool person, it doesn't really ever matter. So lower your spending habits. If you get money, save it or act, act like put a percentage away and then have a certain amount that you can spend. Like for myself, I closed a big client. I got a tattoo. This was like $60. It wasn't even a lot, but like I, that's what I did to, I don't know, congratulate myself. It wasn't something like I spent a thousand dollars on a tattoo that was like all covering my back. I don't have big ones. I have like those and then that and then that's, and then my hand one. Um, so that was my thing. Like for closing a big client, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get a tattoo now because I deserve it. I I'd spent $60 out of like, I don't know, a, a lot of thousands of dollars. So I didn't think it was a big splurge, but a lot of people think that they need to go spend a ton of money to show other people that they've made a lot of money. When in reality, why, are you, why would you ever live your life um, trying to impress others? It really makes no sense and it's something you need to give up to obtain success. Number four is going to be procrastination. So I would say you have to give up procrastination and instead implement consistency. So with myself and obtaining success at a younger age, I found a massive success when I was very consistent with my businesses, with my YouTube channel, with anything in life, with the gym. I am looking, I'm looking decently fit right now. Like if I took my sweatshirt and shirt off, um, I'm looking decently fit right now because I've been going to the gym for the past day or like every single day for the past, I don't know, month or two and I'm, I'm looking definitely better than I looked before, which I'm, I'm already a thinner person so it's kind of easy for me to show my muscles. Um, but it was one of those things where it's like with anything, with my YouTube channel, I grew from like 50 subscribers to a few thousand subscribers probably in a few weeks or maybe like a few months, um, probably a few weeks just because I posted every single day posted valuable content and I live streamed like every single day. It was very consistent. People wanted to see consistency. My channel now, I see my revenue going up on YouTube a lot. Like I went from X amount to almost doubling that X amount like very quickly just because I'm posting consistently. I'm seeing my views go up and I'm seeing my subscribers go up immensely. So it's one of those things, not immensely, my subscribers aren't growing too fast, but um, time will tell what happens with that. Um, but like I just overall see my channel developing better now that I'm posting very consistent content. And same with my businesses. I see tons and tons of growth when I am working day in, day out, day, day like every single day, um, whether it's calling the new clients that I want to work with, calling new people that I want to have like be my mentor or just something like reaching out to new people, connecting with new people, um, stuff like that. Like it's just something that you have to do to like consistency is something that's huge and procrastinating is something that's very easy as an entrepreneur and here's why. So if you don't do anything as an entrepreneur, like if you start a business and then you don't do anything, no one's going to come yell at you. You're maybe your future self will try and look back on you and yell at you, but no one truly is going to come yell at you. It's, it's one of those things where like if you don't build a big business no one's gonna be mad at you because you're building it for yourself you're not trying to um, build it for your boss or something like that like you don't have deadlines it's all on your own so if you're not consistent and if you procrastinate with like let's just say you're gonna be starting a social media marketing agency if you think there's everything like there's too much to learn in a week and you can't do it um, and you like are taking baby steps and like going very slowly you're pathetic, like literally you are pathetic. You need to either quit being an entrepreneur or go hard and like start contacting clients because one, time is limited. Your time never comes back. Um, two, you are making an excuse onto why you don't want to start uh, or as to why you're not starting. That's like saying there's not enough stuff or not, not enough information on the internet. It's just completely bizarre and um, you know, there's just like, there's, everything you could ever want on the internet. You can just learn it. So for you to procrastinate, it's nothing other than laziness. You have to give that up and in, uh, switch it out with consistency. So what I do, like how I do that, because I, I can tell you guys this, but if I can't explain it exactly, it'll be hard for you guys to grasp. What I do every single day, I wake up, you know, I, I'm very consistent with what I do in the day. Wake up, shower, um, drink a protein shake, eat a banana maybe, and then I get onto my computer. And then once I'm on my computer, I see what I have to do for the day. That's basically done because I talk to clients, see what they need for me that day. 
and then I talk to other people, whether I'm running a different business or something with like drop shipping or whatever. Um, and then I plan out my day. So uh, today I had to transfer a store over to someone. And then I also have to um, create a flow for a website, like a new, I don't know, it's kind of complicated, but I have to do something with a website. And then I have to go to the gym. And then I just finished a photo shoot earlier today, uh, like probably an hour ago. And then I had to edit photos and then I had to do all this stuff. So I just systemize it. Like I, or I list it out into a complete in-depth list so I can literally, like it's not even my mind deciding what I want to do today. It's just following the list and being consistent with following it. So it's like, okay, wake up, boom, did that. Shower, boom, did that. Uh, eat uh, breakfast, boom, did that. Go do the photo shoot, boom, did that. And the photos are looked, oh, they're so good. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, link in the description, check out that photo I just posted today. It should be live by now. It looks awesome, I edited it so well, so I'm excited to um, have you guys engage with that content because it's awesome. But um, you know, I have all this stuff systemized, like make flow for websites, uh, transfer store, like all this stuff is just listed out so I can just go through with uh, through my day. And I don't do anything that takes up time that is taking away from creating more success for my life. Um, I don't do that until I'm done with all of my tasks, which I'm normally never done with my tasks. That's the biggest thing. You kind of want to have the tasks flow over until uh, to the next day so you don't waste time. That's one of the biggest things. Like people think, oh, okay, I'm gonna, you know, today I'm gonna learn how to do this. And then once they learn, they're like, all right, I'm done for the day, like for creating a website. Okay, I learned how to create a website, I'm done. When in reality, they can send emails and contact potential clients and say, hey, I wanna set up a meeting and maybe build your website. Like, there's so much you can do. You're 99% of the time not doing everything that you can do. Um, so, I mean, consistency is freaking huge. But that is going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button and click the beautiful looking subscribe button below and if you have not already or have any comments or recommendations you can always drop those in the comment section below I love interacting with you guys on the comments like it's it's fun to do because um, I love seeing if people enjoy the video or don't um, so it's awesome when you guys engage so be sure to do that after this video um, and with that being said hope you guys have a great rest of your day again I'll leave my Instagram link below posted a new picture today so check that out I think it looks like a really cool picture um, but other than that I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video peace